On my 11th birthday, my father gave me two to give me a dollar for each one. And <laughs> scratch out the Jackie Vernon story. And I decided that I was going to do what I wanted to do with the money on my 11th birthday. Now, I'm from the projects. When you live in the projects, every, all the boys 15, 16, 14, they're cool, man. The thing about the projects, you had to walk cool. Guys had cool walks, man. So when you turn 11, you have to start to develop your own cool walk. So I started mine. Now, that was my walk. Mothers do not understand cool walks. I came in the house with my cool walk. My mother said, what's the matter with your leg? So I couldn't do it in the house. But I had a friend, his name was Roland. Rub Roland, we were always hanging out together. Roland had a cool walk too. Roland got his walk from a wino with bad feet. So I went by to get Roland. Old people said that Roland was crazy. Said Roland wasn't playing with a full deck. Said the tens and fives was missing out of Roland's deck. But Roland was my main man because Roland's favorite trick was taking his eyelids and turning them inside out. So the pink part was showing, man. I love Roland for doing that. And Roland loved to do it whenever there was a substitute teacher. Roland would be sitting there with his hands over his eyes and she said, Roland Johnson? She just faint. I said, God dang, Roland. That was my favorite curse word, too. God dang. So I went by to get Roland. I said, hey, Roland, come on, I'm going to take you to Willow Grove Park. A place called Willow Grove Park where they had exciting rides, man. Now, this is when I was like 11 years old and 37 now. And so the thing was, and all them rides scared people. And the ride, as soon as you got on, you said, I want to get off, I want to get off. And as soon as it was over, we said, I want to get back on, I want to get back on. Thrilling, because they broke down. Some rides, and 18 people died. Good, can I ride it? I want to But don't kill me. I just want you to scare me, but don't kill me. So Roland came downstairs to go with me. Roland had put on his clothes backwards. All of them. Pants, shoes on the wrong foot. I said, God dang, Roland, you too mean, Jay. So me and Roland, we caught the trolley car and the bus and the subway and another bus and got there and we saw Willow Grove Park. Now, the only thing we had ever been on before in our lives at Willow Grove Park was the merry-go-round. Merry-go-round is the dumbest thing in the world to put your kid on. Kids do not enjoy the merry-go-round. You sit on this wooden horse, you hold a pole and you keep going up and down and things going around in circles. Ain't nothing exciting about it. The only people excited about it are your parents. Every time you come around, they're there <laughs> waving at you like you ain't coming back no more. <laughs> so me and Roland said, God dang, man, we riding on the roller coaster, Jackson. Yeah. And we were the first in line. Now, usually there's a long line whenever me and Roland step up to it. And that's another thing Roland is good for. Roland can get you to the front of any line, man. Roland keeps soap chips in his pocket. And you say, Roland, looks like we ain't gonna get in, man. And Roland say, have no fear, man. And put the soap chips in his mouth and turn his eyelids inside out, man. And go down the line, you're going to die. You're going to die. And the next thing you know, me and Roland's first, Jack. Standing up there, man, and the line is across the street. And now me and Roland the first, and the roller coaster pulled up, and the people got off. Oh, that was a wonderful ride. And the man said, all right, you two boys, right up front. God dang, man, Roland, we up front on the roller coaster. And the man put the bar down, and me and Roland were sitting cool. And the thing started out. Real slow. So Roland got mad and stood up. Say, mister, what kind of roller coaster is this? The man went crazy. Sit down, boy! Sit down! Yeah, but the roller coaster thing going real slow, man. We supposed to get scared, ain't we? You sit down and grab that bar! What? 
I said, grab that bar. We don't have to hold on no bar, man. We from the projects. <laughs> I don't care where you're from, you grab that bar. So me and Roland held the bar. <laughs> God damn it. Now the thing started climbing. 23 stories tall, made out of wood, painted gray, and old people said the termites was eating it up. <laughs> 23 stories. <laughs> Roland was the first one to cause panic. Because Roland said, hey man, we done run out of tracks. <laughs> and I stood up to see where the tracks went. That's when it hit the fan. <laughs> and I wanted to call for my mother, but the wind kept blowing my mother back in my mouth. I said, Mom, Mom. And, the thing was and my eyes wouldn't close. I didn't want to see that, but my eyes stayed open. They kept saying, I don't believe it. And my heart stopped because my eyes sent a picture to my heart of what was happening, and my heart said, He ain't going to make it. And I, if I could have just called for my mother, man, my mother would have been there. Because all you have to do, you call for your mother. Mothers will show up no matter what, man. He said, Ma! Super mother. My child is in trouble. I must go save him. Fly up and save you and go home and cook dinner, man. I ain't calling on my father. No, oh, fathers show up, but they always say the same thing. Who put you on the goddamn thing in the first place? Now, you get yourself out of it, and when you do, you report to me, because I'm going to give you a beating. <laughs> and all of a sudden, the ride was over. <laughs> and the man came over. Okay, boys. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Say, hey, George, come here. Uh, take a look at the... the <laughs> The boy on the far right, I think we're in big trouble. I think the ride turned his head around. And his eyes is in backwards. And he's got the rabies too. Okay, boys. Now, son, yeah, you're gonna have to let go of this bar. No, just relax your fingers, son. Gee whiz, couldn't get you to hold on to it now. You may have to take it home with you. Now, when you get up, you got two problems. <laughs> the second one <laughs> is that your legs won't let you walk cool. You want to say, oh, man, that ride wasn't nothing, but your legs, you just... <laughs> and all the way home on the trolley car, people kept sitting down beside us and getting right up. You boys been riding a long time, haven't you? <laughs>